And on top of all of that, you found time to create your own skincare, <laughs> skincare line, or co-found. Yeah. So tell me, where did Avrani start? Oh my goodness. Um, it's funny because I think someone the other day was asking me this question about balance, and I frankly, I just said, I'm not balanced. Yeah. Like, I still haven't figured it out, so if you have advice, I am open to it. Um, but I think with Avrani, timing is everything, and I had really been thinking about um, finding, I was thinking about color cosmetics and skincare. I was thinking about the beauty industry because I think the most frustrating thing that I had found um, in this world of Instagram and social media is that, uh, you know, the other day I was, or a few months ago, I had the opportunity to interview Chelsea Clinton. And that was one of a, a very proud, exciting moment for me. Um, and that post on social media gets a lot less engagement than a selfie of what lipstick I'm wearing. And I think that is a problem in itself that I can go on and on about, but recognizing that there's a place where I can find common ground between the advocacy world that I'm doing and creating this beauty brand with a mission. And so kind of tying the two took a lot of time to find that common ground because I was often just frustrated by what I was seeing most of the time. Um, and so with creating Avrani, by having a social mission and tying all of that together, it took it took years, it took three years behind the scenes that no one had, had seen, had obviously sees the heavy lifting um, that you put into it. Um, and it took three years and then I met my co-founders who are so incredible and I think that's the biggest thing because they bring knowledge to the table that I would never, ever, ever have. Um, and to be able to build a brand um, by using all of our assets collectively was the biggest um, differentiating point that we had.